Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining the session on SPEM Management Automation with SAP Concur. So my name is Emma Shakespeare. I've been in Concur now for eight and a half years. And so I'm going to be speaking to you for the next 20 minutes from my experience of 10 years in the industry on how we've helped organisations to look at some of their existing processes and get some automation and efficiency within them. I'm going to cover three topics today, all around employee spend. The first topic is petty cash. We see in certain industries, some industries like retail, some gas stations as well, there's a petty cash float process in place, which is manual and difficult to manage, difficult to reconcile, difficult to track balances. So I'll be speaking to you about how we can help to improve those processes that exist and how we can get better automation in those areas. The other thing is per diem management. We know that there's allowances that exist in a number of different areas across the Middle East. It can be quite time consuming. It's subject to human error as a lot of these processes are still manual and managed in a paper process. I'm going to be speaking about how you can automate that, automate the criteria of how that per diem is calculated and approved, and then also how you can get some additional benefit around the VAT tracking and recovery. Lastly, I'm going to cover invoice management. We know within a lot of companies today, there's no process of how an invoice is received, how it is scanned and how it is matched to an existing purchase order and then how it is then rekeyed back into a finance system. So I'll be speaking about how you can think about reducing some of the effort, how you can make the process a lot less cumbersome and how you can improve the accuracy and reduce human error and duplication. So let's start with a manual petty cash process. So there's many organizations today that handle petty cash particularly companies like gas stations or even retail supermarkets that are doing uh, various deliveries. And typically these organizations, they have a petty cash float and they issue some kind of cash to employees so that the employees can buy, you know, day to day things like tea and coffee, maybe fuel for deliveries, stationery, etc. Now, normally, these whole bunch of receipts, they'll all get consolidated, they'll get collected, they'll get sent back to finance, and then the finance team will have to reconcile those against the original petty cash issuance. There's a lot of challenges in terms of this because obviously there's receipts that can be missed, there can be shortfalls in terms of the data, and then obviously people in finance will then need to manually key in the data into the finance system. So how can, Concur, how can Concur help in terms of automating the petty cash process? There's a couple of things. So the first step is when the cash is originally issued, there is an option that we recommend to companies that they take a corporate card because on a corporate card, you can either have that employee withdraw money from an ATM or you can allocate a certain amount that that employee has to spend related to that petty cash uh, process. So the employee would get the cash. Um, they would then spend on a number of different items rather than collecting all of those receipts and it going into finance. That employee would then start taking pictures of those receipts because using the Concur technology on any smartphone, the OCR technology is able to pick up all of that data on that receipt, the date, the amount, the type, what the category of spend is, and then start to reconcile that amount against the petty cash float. Now, because the system can auto reconcile that against any cash advance, any petty cash float that's been assigned, it means that finance don't have to do it. So you're freeing up that job essentially for the finance team. Because it auto captures the receipt information as well, it can also manage the threshold. So if you have a certain amount of the petty cash float and it's getting a bit low or somebody's getting within 5% of the limit, then there's also options in Concur to auto top that up, that up as well and also notify anyone of the fact that they're getting near to that, to that allowance. So the overall management in terms of managing the, the spend, 
giving you visibility up front, but also auto reconciling the, the receipt information against petty cash and also integrating with any corporate cards that you want to introduce, regardless of whether you have a corporate card process or whether it's still cash that you go with, there's a number of options which Concur can use to help organisations with petty cash. So let's stay on the topic of manual processes in terms of finance. And, and another area that I see is managing per diems. So this is also very manual in a lot of organisations. So typically there's a form for per diems that is created by an employee and it's typically associated with a trip. So that employee would enter travel information. So where they want to go, typically a country, business purpose, the duration of the trip. There could be some other criteria as well. So some companies say to me, they need to also allocate this to a project or a certain cost center. Regardless of the criteria, we can capture all of that information and then the approvals can happen as well. Now, in, in most organizations I speak to, they, have, they run two separate processes. One, in terms of how they issue the cash advance related to per diems. And in other instances, per diems will be paid after the trip. So regardless of whether you pay your employees upfront or whether you pay after the trip, you can use Concur to help determine that. And that logic can be can be built into the system. So if you decide that, that so that another good thing about the per diem process as well in Concur is that a lot of the time it's hard to understand the total cost of the trip. So what can also happen is you can look at what are all the other related expenses that need to be added to this trip. So are there going to be business meals? Will there be taxis that are incurred? any laundry and with Concur you have the ability to record all of the expenses related to that trip so that by the time you get to step 11 where the employee is actually booking their trip because they've got all of the approvals they need that approver knows exactly the cost of the trip and all the related expenses to go along with that trip. In Concur, you have some budget functionality where as an approver, you can look at what does this cost impact my budget by and how much, and then that approver can make a decision. Assuming that the approvals are all there, then the employee can go ahead and book their trip and um, they can book travel also in Concur. Once that's all been booked, all the expenses are then automatically posted into the, the ERP that you, that you have. So the key things about automating the per diem process is one, you don't need to have a, a manual form or a manual email to record all of the, the key criteria for how you would issue either a cash allowance or how you would then pay a per diem after the trip. The other key thing is all of the receipt information can be captured in Concur. So like how we saw with the petty cash process earlier, employees can also take pictures on the go using any mobile phone. And then all of that data can be captured <clears throat> and then also inputted into the system. The benefit of capturing the receipt information is that from a VAT perspective, whether it's domestic or international, that information can be captured. So if you're allocating per diems to individuals anyway, and you have a set amount, why not record the receipt information? Because then you can recover some VAT off the back of it. So the final thing I wanted to speak about is the whole invoice management process. So invoicing and purchasing. There's a lot of organizations in the Middle East that are doing this manual. Either it's a paper documents that are received in finance or it's an email process. So typically it starts with an employee wants something. So they want something, they fill out a form or they go online to say, I want something. Finance then raise a PO. Now either they email it or they send a, a paper copy to a supplier. 
The supplier then receives that PO and then delivers the goods or services against it, along with any delivery slips, invoices are then sent to finance, and then finance then need to put a number of things together. So finance need to match the PO with the invoice, finance need to look at where's the goods receipt, finance need to do any exception handling, and then finance then need to manually key it into the finance system. So looking at Concur and looking at the purchasing process within Concur, there's a number of options for how that purchase request can be created. There's two options. First one is you can create the purchase request within Concur. You can capture all the information related to how that purchase order will be created. Second option is if you already have a purchase ordering system, then Concur will import that PO from any external PO system. Once that purchase request has been created, it will then need to go for approval. Any workflow approval is supported, whether it's on a mobile device, on a, on a desktop device, and any workflow, as I said, is supported. Once that's been approved, it will then be auto submitted to a supplier and the supplier will then deliver those goods and services. Now, the supplier will either send an invoice in a number of ways, EDI, email or paper. And let's look at what options we've got to support either of those options. When the invoice comes in, Concur will read that invoice using OCR technology. We can support two-way or three-way matching, depending on your requirements. And also anything in terms of the exception handling can also be routed to the correct individuals, whether that's AP or whether it's the purchase requester, anything can be supported. So once the exceptions are resolved, the auto posting can also happen. Now, if we look at some of the things in AP that are typically cumbersome, very time consuming, subject to human error, I get asked and told quite often that AP typically have a lot of supplier queries. Where's my, have you received my invoice? When am I going to be paid? My payments are delayed, where is it? So AP are inundated with queries from suppliers often. AP team also have a challenge with manually receiving invoices, trying to match them, and it is subject to human error and duplication. And then there's also the manual effort with having to then rekey all of that information into finance. So using Concur at every step of the process, right from the beginning in terms of purchase requisition, even to receiving that invoice in a number of formats and separating them out, to auto matching them, to auto resolving any issue, to auto approving them, auto inputting into finance. There's many areas of where automation can happen. In addition to that, there's also a supplier portal that we provide to your suppliers so that they don't need to phone finance to find out where is my invoice, when will I be paid, where is it in the workflow, that supplier portal will give them all the visibility they need on any invoice that they have sent through in an organisation. There's a number of reports that come out of the box as standard in Concur. There's around 200 reports in total. Now, if you look operationally across your business, as well as looking at the policy related reporting that you may need, there's a number of things that we can do to help you manage your spend. So looking at aging, you can look at how long has it taken from when an invoice has been received to when we've actually paid a supplier. You can look at what is my total spend per quarter and how am I tracking against maybe budgets that I have across each department? Who are my top suppliers? What's my spend trend? And shouldn't we have everything with a purchase order associated? So why do we have 20% of our invoices that are coming in with no purchase order? So this type of information we give to you straight out of the box from using Concur. On top of the standard reporting that you'd expect to get that we spoke about earlier, there's also benefit in looking at consolidated spend reporting as well. Concur, as we go through travel, we look at expense, we look at invoice management, 
there's a number of different areas and different processes that may have the same category. So if we look at airline as an example, or airfare, which is the first one, an employee may submit an expense claim with some airfare on it that they may need reimbursement. There may be a pre-approval solution related to airfare where that, that may also require reimbursement. And there also may be a invoice that comes in from a travel agency with some airfare fees on it as well. So you can see in an organization there could be many different processes uh, and procedures for the same category of spend. Using Concur, regardless of the process, regardless of the approval, uh, whether it follows a different workflow, different spend, different project code, all of that data you'll still get to see using the consolidated spend reporting function. So I covered three things today at a high level. I spoke about how Concur can help to manage spending in the finance and procurement related areas. I covered per diem management because a lot of organisations still have a paper process for how they allocate and issue per diems. Sometimes this process can have a number of different criteria in terms of how an employee would receive a per diem. The benefits of doing it within Concur, one is that it can all be automated to free up time in finance and with the end user. But secondly, the VAT reclaim, we can capture those receipts related to that per diem, which would allow organisations to recover that VAT domestically and internationally. We spoke about petty cash management and also trying to reduce the human element of allocation and issuance with petty cash. There's some options we spoke about in terms of maybe allocating a corporate card to manage certain types of categories of spend and how you can automate that process and also get that automatic reconciliation. So when a cash advance is issued, you know exactly what's outstanding with that individual, with that employee, and that employee can take pictures of a receipt and that auto matching of that petty cash and the receipt data will be done automatically. We spoke about invoice management as well. There's no need for APs now to operate from an office if you have SAP Concur, because everything can automatically be sent directly to your email address and Concur will pick up that, that, those invoices, as I said. It also helps to reduce the delay in terms of payment because the whole process is, in, is, is automated from capturing that original invoice all the way through to matching any query handling and then the final integration with your ERP. If we look at some independent studies, we know from the IDC report that 87% of finance executives believe that they need to have visibility of spend a lot earlier than they are today. That's due often to paper processes where it's impossible to get it until it actually hits AP and either a supplier or an employee needs to be paid. Using Concur, where you'll get visibility of that data up front, so straight away if it's on a corporate card, that will be integrated into Concur and you'll get visibility. If it's, a, if it's taking pictures on a mobile phone using OCR technology, again, finance will get that information straight away. The benefit up front is productivity improvements for employees, typically 60 to 70 percent improvements in their day to day roles. And then in finance, anywhere from 30 to 60 percent savings we see due to the reduction in, in the manual processing that occurs. I've included this slide as it gives a bit more information on our resources that are available. So if you're thinking about automating spend, you're not really sure where to start, you've seen some things that could be of interest, then I have a, a few suggestions. So we have a 10 step guide that I can refer you to, which gives you a step by step view of what are the things you need to think about putting in place and automating using Concur. There's also some videos that you can reference as well, looking at the travel booking process, the pre-approval process and the expense process. 
And then there's also more of a deep dive look of the, the system, so you can get a look and feel of what, what do the screens look like, what is the end user experience like to use Concur. That's all provided here. So finally, I just want to say thanks for attending this session with SAP Concur. So I've been speaking about spend management automation in general, and I've covered a number of different areas. If you have any questions, please feel free to start typing them below. Thank you.